Um, I'm Hillary, and I'm trying to understand birth control. I recently asked a few high schoolers what they knew about it. I've never talked about birth control. I'm a little bit unsure about what birth control even is. I know that birth control is a pill that you take. I don't really know anything about it, honestly. And then I asked some of my coworkers what they knew. I don't have a lot of experience talking or researching or thinking about birth control. I've never used birth control. How did I learn about birth control? I'd say I didn't. <laughs> I think this is what everyone thinks of as like the most basic form of birth control. Somehow, these magical tablets keep you from getting pregnant. I don't know what's in it. I feel like you gotta have some instructions. How does this work? Is it the coil that like doesn't make you pregnant? That's like magic. Like, how does it do that? It turns out we all had a bunch of questions, so I called in some experts. I'm Dr. Regina Edmond. I'm Dr. Yvonne Bone, and we're OBGYNs. In order to understand birth control, first you have to understand two basic concepts. Menstruation, which is when the uterine lining sheds and a woman bleeds monthly, and the second is ovulation. That's when the ovary releases an egg. So the way hormonal birth control works is it prevents you from ovulating by interrupting the signal from your brain. You do not ovulate. At the end of the cycle, the pills, the hormones in the pills, or the lack of them, causes you to have a, quote, fake menstrual cycle. Does birth control make you gain weight? So when we're talking about birth control right now, we're talking about the combined birth control pills, the ones you take every day. The risk of weight gain with these types of pills is extremely low. If you're gaining more than five pounds, then you should let the doctor know. What happens if I have one cigarette if I'm on the pill? There is an increased risk of blood clots if you're smoking while you take the pill. If you're over 35, we absolutely do not want you to smoke. This doesn't apply to smoking weed. We really do not encourage cigarette use at all for so many other reasons, but if you're out one night and you have one cigarette, you're probably gonna be okay. This is an IUD. I'm really confused about this one. I don't understand what this is. This is a copper IUD. As you can see, the device is lined with copper wire. And the copper in the IUD is toxic to the sperm, so the sperm cannot fertilize the egg. It does not inhibit ovulation, and it does not affect your menstrual cycle. What will the effect of having been on birth control for a decade be when I wanna get pregnant? Women always worry they've been on the pill for 10 years. How is that gonna affect their fertility? Are they gonna be able to have a baby when they want to? And the answer is yes. Because of the low dose of most birth control pills, there is little risk to future fertility after stopping. Once you stop your pills, or once you take your placebo pills, within a very short period of time, the hormones that have regulated or prevented your pregnancy will be gone, and you should be able to resume a normal menstrual cycle very quickly, sometimes as rapidly as in one month. For other women, it may take a little bit longer. Why isn't there a dude pill? We do have the male condom and vasectomy. I don't see that there will be a hormonal form of contraception for men, because in order to help them stop producing sperm, we would have to affect their testosterone levels. And I don't think most men would be willing to deal with the side effects of low testosterone. I don't know which option to go with. The best form of birth control is the one that you'll remember to take. Whatever you're using, it has to be consistent, you have to be compliant. So whether it's condoms, whether it's a diaphragm, whether it's a pill that you take every day, or a ring that you put in the vagina, you have to be compliant. A lot of people take birth control so that they don't get pregnant, but a lot of people take birth control for other reasons too. The hormones in the birth control help to regulate your hormones so that you have possibly less acne knee, less bleeding when you have your menstrual cycle, and possibly less cramping. So we use it for medical problems too. It seems like a lot of our confusion stemmed from the fact that we hadn't really been talking about birth control. I definitely think we should open up the conversation about birth control and it's like many uses a lot earlier. You can't be bashful, you have to know what it is that you're putting inside of your body. So otherwise you just like hear about it through other people and you don't really know what you're doing. A lot of women are raised to be modest and to be ashamed and because of that, they really don't understand what's going on in their body every month. I think it's important that a lot of young girls like know more about it. We think of birth control as a political thing or a religious, non-religious thing, but so much of it just has to do with women's bodies. There should be open conversation. It doesn't have to be so scary. I think that if it were talked about more, it wouldn't seem so like wrong. So let's actually talk about birth control. Let's 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 talk about it. <laughs>